All right, guys, good morning. Let's come to the top of our mat. Let me just adjust your camera just up a little bit because I see it's pointed down. Give me just a moment. There we go. All right. So we're going to start at the top of our mat. I'll scooch over this way just so you can see me a little bit better there on the Zoom call. And we're going to reach all the way up overhead, stretching up nice and tall, nice and long. And on our exhale, we're going to tuck the tailbone, curling and rolling down, working with our standing roll down to begin with. And we're going to be curling down segment by segment vertebra by vertebra, hanging here at the bottom, letting the head hang towards the floor. Feel the weight throughout the foot. So from ball of the foot across down to the heel, you're feeling that stretch up the calf, up the hamstring. And on your next exhale, draw the shoulders back away from the neck and away from the ears. And we're gonna tuck the tailbone and curl and roll back up. Restacking all the way up and then reaching up nice and long overhead fingers interlace at the top and we'll go palms up towards the ceiling and then we're going to reach up and over to the right and back to center stretching long up out of the legs out of the hips and waist and up and over to the left and then back to center Really reach and stretch up and over. We'll go one more left. Fingers separate and we're gonna work that standing roll down once again. Now as you're rolling down, you're trying to push the hips forward as you draw the abs in, draw navel to spine. Roll the shoulders back away from the neck, from away from the neck, curling down towards the mat, letting the head hang here, and really let kind of the crown of the head stretch towards the floor. Feel that even weight across the foot, that stretch up the back, and on that next exhale, we tuck the tailbone, round and curl, restack right over the tailbone. One segment, one vertebra at a time, stretching all the way up to the top. Reach up nice and long, fingers interlace, palms up towards the ceiling, and we do our double set of these side overs, these side bends. Inhale over to the right, and exhale back to center. Reach up and over to the left, and back to center. One more each time, trying not to kick your hips out to the side. We're reaching up long, up and through the torso, and back to the other side. Fingers separate once again, the tailbone tucks, and we curl and roll forward. Restacking as we, re uh, unwinding down off of the wall behind us, Letting that head hang as the shoulders draw back and down. Now we're hanging here. We're going to walk out to our plank. We're going to walk out one, two, three, hitting that plank position. Shoulders pack back and down. Your tailbone's tucked. Draw ribs and abs up and in. Taking another breath. Pushing up away from the floor. You can always drop down to your knees if you need to modify or to the forearms as well. And we're going to kick the hips back up, moving into that downward dog stretch. Taking one more breath as you press the heels for the floor. We'll walk our hands back. One two, three, and curl back up, restacking the spine, segment by segment, vertebra by vertebra, all the way up to the top. We'll stretch straight up for the ceiling. 
We're gonna bring our feet to the center, cross right ankle over left, and we're gonna stretch up and over to the right, and back to the center line. Try not to over arch the back as you draw ribs and abs in. We're hinging to the left here, as if we're hinging between two panes of glass. Over to that right side, back to center. Really reaching up and over. And we'll curl down. Curling down, piece by piece. Hanging here at the floor Increasing that stretch along the back of the left leg. And we'll walk forward. One, two, three, out to that plank position. We'll uncross. Right leg's going to hover here at that center line, in line, at your midline. Shoulders glide back and down. You're still hovering that right leg up off the mat. Midline's active. Core is strong. And then we'll hinge back up. Leg is still floating, so we're still pressing that left leg down into the floor. Getting that extra stretch through the calf. Bringing the right ankle across once again, and we'll walk back. Find that balance. If you need to uncross your legs, that's fine. Holding here at the bottom for one more breath as you drop the head long towards the floor. And we'll curl and restack. Connect to the floor so legs are strong. Reaching up overhead will change that cross. So legs to the center, left ankle crosses over the right. We're going to reach up and over to the left and back to center. Stretch up nice and long over to the right and back to center. One more each side. At the midline, we curl and roll down. Long and strong through the legs, connect to the floor. You could always move off your mat, and that's going to add a little bit of instability, requiring a bit more balance. So if you come off and onto a harder surface, it will be a little easier to balance. Holding that stretch. So we're increasing that stretch along the back of the right leg. And then we're going to walk out to that plank position. And we're going to bring that left leg hovering up, up off the mat. Shoulders down. Ribs and abs knit in. Holding strong here. That single leg center plank. And then back into that downward dog, pressing that right heel towards the floor as you pull the shoulders down. Left leg is still hovering above the floor unless you need to drop it for stability. And we'll cross that left ankle over the right and start to walk back. Coming back to that hang, right over the feet and legs. Adjust your position as needed, that cross, and then let the head hang towards the floor.
On your next exhale, connect to the floor, strong through the legs, solid in your foot position, start to restack, finding that balance, reaching up long overhead, uncross the ankles, feet are going to be about hip width, and then we're going to stretch up, chest lifts for the ceiling. Open through the chest, tucking that tailbone, keep it out of the low back. One more breath. And back to center. Let's come to our mat. And we're going to lay flat on our back to begin with, curling and rolling back. Knees are gonna be bent, feet are gonna be nice and flat here on the mat. We're gonna bring that right leg up to tabletop. And on our inhale, we're gonna extend that right leg forward and exhale, return to tabletop. Reaching out nice and long, finding that full extension of the leg without the torso opening more on the right. Reach and stretch it out as long as you're keeping your neutral position through your hip and your low back. We're going to bring that left arm up. And on the inhale, arm and leg stretch away. And exhale back. Plugging that shoulder down the back as the arm glides forward on the exhale. leg moves away. We're going to tighten up a bit more into the core, prevent the back from arching and the rib cage from flaring. And we'll do two more with this cross body work. Bringing that right foot back down to the mat. Left arm reaches nice and long. We'll bring our left leg up to tabletop. Draw navel to spine, connect the rib cage in and down, and we inhale to extend that left leg out. And exhale to draw it back. Find that length, that precision in the movement. As you extend the leg, you're reaching farther and longer. Bringing in more tension, not only to your core, but also to the leg. Extend it farther. Feel that connection between the hip and the rib cage. Right arm comes up, just in line with the chest. And we inhale to open. As we draw the abs in deeper, extend the arm and the leg longer. The shoulder blade is going to rise as the arm goes overhead. The key is as the arm comes back, we begin to feel that shoulder blade start to glide back down the back, down the ribs. Inhale to open, connect into your midline, draw to the spine. And last one, inhale, reach. And exhale, draw back. Placing that left foot down, we're going to bring our arms down by our side. And we're going to work into our floor angel. So we're going to tilt our hips back, imprint the low back as 
as long as it's not contraindicated for any spine issues that you might have. We're going to go into this deep flexion here, reaching the arms up, hovering above the mat. We're going to flip, externally rotate, go to palms up, reach for the heels with your fingertips, and then start to bring the arms out to the side, connecting your spine to the floor, keeping that strong connection to your mat as the arms go overhead. Back of the hands are gliding across the floor. Finding that spot where you start to get stuck and pausing in that stretch. Breathing into the stretch, allowing the shoulder to open and release. As you keep the back connected to the mat and to the floor, drawing the abdominals in deeper. Now try to bring the arms a little bit higher overhead. Inch the arms up just a little higher. Pull the ribs together in and deeper. One more breath. And we'll reset. We'll do one more here. Arms are reaching long. So you can add a shrug to feel the shoulders rise. So you really get that great depression as you unshrug the shoulders, bringing the arms longer towards your heels. And then begin to circle out, stretching out farther, feeling that stretch along the bicep of the upper arm. Again, keeping the back on the mat. This is a great one to also do if you have a large, long roller that will fit tailbone to head. You could do this laying vertical on the foam roller and you get more of that opening through the chest and shoulders because you can drop down the arms past the body towards the floor. One more nice deep breath. And then arms come back down by the side. Going palms down. We're going to bring both knees to tabletop. Draw navel to spine. And we're going to alternate our single leg extensions. We're going to inhale to reach. And exhale to draw back. We're going to alternate legs. Gliding the leg forward, paying attention to the low back, to the hip position as the leg moves into extension and back into flexion. Keeping that even weight across the pockets throughout the movement. Pausing for a moment, we're going to bring our arms straight up towards the ceiling, holding those arms nice and long as the shoulders connect in and down. Right foot, left arm is going to move. We're going to inhale to open. Opposite arm and leg stays perfectly still. And exhale back. Changing to the other side, right arm, left leg extends out. We're working dead bug. Really try to keep that opposite arm and leg stable and quiet. It doesn't begin to travel with the other side. Staying back on the top of the hips, try not to overweight the tailbone. It will put too much stress on the low back. So focus on anchoring across the top of the hips, at the top of the pockets, or if you had a belt on, pressing that belt towards the floor. Last one, right arm, left leg. And exhale. 
exhale to reset. Arms come out to a T, palms up on the floor, tilt back on the pockets, draw ribs and abs in. We're moving into our spine twist supine. On the inhale, we take the legs over to the right, lifting the left hip, but not the left shoulder. Rotating through the mid ribs, we pull into those obliques and those abdominals to glide the legs back to center. And inhale, over to the left. And exhale back. You could modify this one with feet flat on your mat. Also adding a small pillow or a block between the knees to engage the inner thighs a bit more. Or if you have a Pilates ring to squeeze into. If you're feeling any tension in the hip flexor or the low back, it might be nice to add a small little wedge of pillow underneath your hips, your pocket, to put you into a little bit more of a pelvic tilt. Decompress the low back, support the legs a bit more. Last one left. And feet come back down to the mat, just in line with the sit bones. Fingers are gonna interlace, bringing the hands behind the head, let the head fall back into your hands, supporting your head and your neck with your arms and your shoulders. Moving into our chest lift, we exhale to fold across the mid ribs, just below the pecs at the bra line. We take a breath at the top and exhale to articulate back down, keeping the low back and the hips quiet. Supporting the head and the neck. You could do this with a small towel as well if you don't like having your hands this far back. <sighs> Bringing our legs up to tabletop position. We're going to add double leg extensions to this chest lift. So exhale to fold, lift the head, neck, and chest. We inhale, extend the legs. And exhale to reset all the way back. Taking a breath to pause at the bottom and exhale to fold and lift. Inhale, reach. If you'd like to take the repetition out of the chest lift, Staying up higher here to support the neck. You can stay up and work inhale to extend and exhale, rebend to tabletop. Last two. Arms come nice and long down by your side. Feet return to sit bones distance apart. Working into our pelvic tilt. We're gonna warm up the low back a little bit more. Also add a nice stretch from some of our tabletop work. So we exhale to get into this hollow position, just like our setup for our floor angel stretch. And then on our next exhale, we curl back to the tailbone. Taking a breath, exhale to curl back. Rolling along the tailbone, the sacrum, across the low back, feeling that nice hollowing position, letting our abs draw to our spine, and back to neutral.
paying close attention to where neutral is. Hip bones are nice and level. Neither side is tipping to either side. And we wanna make sure that we're right in line with the pubic bone. Neither bone is higher or lower than the other to find that neutral pelvic position. Think of the hips as a bucket of water. If we tip that bucket back into this lumbar flexion, we start to lose the water out the back. If we tip the hips forward, we tip that bucket forward, the water spills down the front of our thighs, we go into extension, and we add a little extra pressure to the low back as well. So finding that neutral position in the hips at the finished position. One more. All right, moving into our pelvic curl. And you can always take the articulation out to do a strict shoulder bridge. Exhale, tilt the hips back. Draw the bottom of the hips to the knees as you peel up off the mat pivoting at the ankle to send the knees forward towards the toes, lifting the hips, draw into the inner thigh, feel that tension move out the front of the hips and thighs. And on your next exhale, lead with the rib cage first versus the hips. We start to curl down, finding that hollowing position. The hips are the last to connect and drop if you're working the pelvic curl with the articulation. Drawing your attention to your shoulders to ensure that as you start to curl up or curl down, they don't glide up out of position. We wanna keep them away from the neck and the ears, especially on the return down. Working through one last curl. Take your time through the movement. Start to pause a little bit in those areas that get stuck and see if you can move through them with a little bit more efficacy through those little sticky spots. all the way through to neutral. We'll bring our knees up to tabletop, folding and lifting up the mid ribs, lifting the head, neck, and chest. We're gonna bring our hands to our knees, drawing the right knee towards the chest as the left leg glides forward, and exhale to change. Working our single leg stretch, Folding deeper at the mid ribs, chin drops towards the chest. The higher you can get your shoulders up and forward off the mat, the more support you have for your head and your neck. One more with the right knee drawn in. Pulling that left knee in, we're gonna pause. Now roll onto your right side. Holding that left knee, right leg is hovering. We're gonna adductor to engage the inner thigh to bring that leg up. Exhale to lift that right leg up. Last two, lift 
and we curl and roll back to center. Fold and reset a little bit more. We're gonna go back to that single leg stretch. Right knee in, left leg extends. Left leg, we pause with the right knee in, left leg out, rolling onto that left side. My left elbow is down, both legs are hovering. My left leg's gonna lift, working that adductor, that inner thigh, also getting that nice stretch along the outside of that left leg. Three, two, one. Pause and reset, draw the abs in, roll back to center. Bring both knees into tabletop position. We're gonna go for our double leg stretch. We're gonna inhale, arms and legs move away. Exhale to circle those arms back to tabletop. Folding in nice and deep. Draw navel to spine. Last two. Holding at tabletop here. Draw the right knee in, extend the left leg. We're rolling to the right. Onto that right hip, that right elbow. Left leg's on top, we exhale to lift and slow to lower. Extend and reach that leg long. Hands are holding on to that right leg and tabletop, so you've got a good support system. You're on that right hip, right elbow's connected to the mat. We're gonna go one more left leg lift. Come back to neutral with control, roll to center. Bring that left leg in. We're back to our double leg stretch. We're gonna inhale to open and exhale back. Keeping the chest up as the arms go overhead. Don't drop back. You could go hands behind the head if you need more support for the head and the neck or flat on your back. One more. Pulling the left knee in, extend that right leg nice and long. Shoulders down, we need to roll left. Rolling onto that left hip, left elbows on the mat, right legs long, we exhale, lift up. Strong through that leg. Ribs and abs knit in. Shoulders are gliding down the back. Neck is long. Last three. One more. Pause at that parallel position. Curl back to center. Drop both knees to the chest. Head and shoulders come back to your mat and we'll turn our head to the right. Right ear on the mat, stretching out through the neck, let the left shoulder drop down towards the floor. One more breath. And then we're gonna turn our head to the left. Left ear on the mat, drop that right shoulder down. One more breath. Feeling that stretch along the outside of the neck and shoulder on the right side. We'll bring our head back to center. Legs go out nice and long on the mat, drawing through inner thighs, pointing those toes. We're into our roll up. Arms coming overhead. Seat the rib cage and the abdominals into the back. We inhale, arms, 
head, neck, chest start to lift, and then we exhale to draw abs to the spine, navel to spine, coming up into that C curve, rounding through the low back, and exhale, curling back. All the way back down, segment by segment, going as far as you can without the feet lifting up off the floor. And inhale, arms glide forward as the chest lifts, and exhale to draw abs in, curling and rounding, until shoulders are over hip, dropping those shoulders down as you reach the arms long, maintaining that C curve, and exhale to curl back. Exaggerate the abdominals, drawing to the spine. Lengthen and stretch those legs out longer to engage the back of the leg to better activate those lower abdominals. Curling into that C curve and rolling forward over the leg. Stretching out nice and long, grabbing the knees, shin, or feet to pull yourself into that stretch a little deeper. Curling and restacking the spine. Sitting up nice and tall. And we'll drop back into that C curve once again. Rolling and curling back, segment by segment, vertebra by vertebra, all the way back. Extend and reach long. Inhale, arms glide forward, folding at the mid ribs to lift the chest. And exhale, pull navel in, abs to spine. Find that hollowing. Folding more. Try not to straighten the back just yet. Push into the sacrum a little bit more. Find that rounding and reach forward over the legs. Pulling the elbows down by your thighs or calves, depending on your mobility. Shoulders pull back and down and stretch. Arms will come out in front, we'll restack, sitting up nice and tall, segment by segment, and we'll open our stance. We'll bring our feet about mat width apart, draw the toes back, the top of the foot back towards the shin. Arms will come out in front, we'll go chin to chest. Exhale to pull the abdominals up and in as we peel down, segment by segment. Each little bit of the spine rolling forward. Hands to the toes if you can reach. Otherwise, hands to the knees or shins. Draw the foot back, not just the toes. Work on that ankle movement as you draw the top of the foot back. Stretching the legs long, down into the mat. Finding that hollow position, hands come up off the feet. We curl and roll up, restacking the spine. Arms go out to our T position, palms rotate up, dropping those shoulders. We rotate right and we pulse for one, two, back to center, rotating left. Moving through the mid ribs for that double pulse. To the right. One, two. Anchor into your hips. Don't let the hips or the legs shift. Reach and extend. Arms come forward, we curl and roll down. 
reaching out nice and long, stretching forward between the legs. You can grab the legs or feet to deepen that stretch. Gliding the shoulders back away from the neck and the ears as best you can. And then sit long into your sit bones. Feel that stretch of the legs. And we'll restack. Segment by segment. Vertebra by vertebra, all the way up. We bring our arms out to our T position. We're moving into saw. We rotate right. Right arm goes back. As the left arm comes forward, left hand by that right pinky toe, reach into that stretch. Lift the chest a little bit into back extension. Sitting up on that diagonal, sit forward all the way up, unwinding, and we rotate left. Left arm goes back, right hand reaches for the outside of the left foot, stretch the legs as you reach forward and lifting that chest, hinging up a little bit, more into that extension. We sit up and tall, unwinding. Over to the right, one more each side. Hinge, anchor both hips, reaching farther. As you draw the top of the foot back, sliding those shoulders down as you lift the chest up into that forward hinge, flat back, hinging all the way up. Unwind, last one to the left side, rotate left. Left hand is palm up, reaching behind you as the right hand goes forward towards your foot. Straighten the legs, extending the back. You're on that hinge at the hip. Reach, plant that right hip. Sitting up nice and tall, back to center. Arms are coming up overhead and we curl and roll forward and down. Rolling through, reaching out nice and long, hands to the feet as you slide those shoulders back. Breathing into that stretch. One more nice deep breath. Curl and restack. Sitting up nice and tall, nice and long, stretching towards the ceiling. Sit up as tall and as long as you can. Feeling those back extensors firing up along the spine as your ribs and your abs knit in. Reaching the arms up. Stretching up for the ceiling, lengthening through the spine. One more breath. And curl and roll forward. Rolling forward over the thighs, reaching out long through the feet. Last stretch here. and slow to restack the spine. Sitting up nice and tall. All right guys, great job this morning. Thanks so much for joining me. Nice work today.